Welcome to Mimi's Kitchen. Well, yesterday was Mother's Day, so I hope all you mothers had a good day. I certainly did. Oh, my family was here and we celebrated. We celebrated Mother's Day. We celebrated um, a birthday. And so we just take advantage of every situation and celebrate everything that we can. Y'all, I am still amazed at how many people just take the time to either send me a message, send me a card, write me a letter. Um, Y'all are so thoughtful and it just makes my day. And so um, thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Now today we are going to be making strawberry pie. This is the season for strawberries. So um, think of everything you can to make with the strawberries. And this is just a very easy pie. It's very much like the one that Shoney's had. I'm not sure if any of them are still still around. We don't have any in this area. But um, they were really known for their strawberry pie. And so that's what we're going to make today. And if you look back in my videos, you will see also a strawberry trifle that is really, really good. And then there's a mixture of fruits that has primarily strawberries in it has that secret ingredient of vanilla pudding in it. And so um, lots of things that you can do with strawberries. So let's get right to this. I have already baked um, my pie crust and Miss Smith made our pie crust today and she'll make yours too. And so um, I just followed the instructions exactly like they were. And so this is our beautiful pie crust. So now, according to the recipe, and if you will turn to page 108, that is the recipe right there. We have one cup of sugar to go in there, and then three tablespoons of cornstarch. This says no mess, but what do you think we're going to have a mess trying to get it out of here? Mm. All right, so that's one. Two, three. Now look at that mess. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not quite sure what they meant by no mess. Okay. Now what you do is that you just take these and, oh, you're over there and just whisk them together. Just, just enough to get them just kind of acquainted with one another. Okay. Now then, I'm gonna go ahead and cut my eye on. It calls for one cup of water. Just plain old tap water. One cup, put that in there. And then what you do is you bring this to a bowl. Okay. And as soon as this comes to a bowl, we'll be right back. Okay, y'all. This is beginning to boil. And it thickens very quickly. And um, so let it boil for... Oh, at least 30 seconds to a minute. It's nice and thick because remember, this is what's gonna hold all the strawberries together. So that, um, see that's, see how thick that is. So we'll let that bubble there for a minute. All right, I'm gonna cut that off. Now, we are going to add that is a three ounce box of Jello. Now you can use, the, this is the regular Jello. You can use sugar free. This is what I happen to have in my cabinet. So we just pour this right into um, that mixture and then just stir it real good. Okay. 
All right, now, we just gonna let that sit there and cool a minute. The straw, these strawberries I have already cut up and, oh, y'all look at this spoon. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. And look how nice and big it is. Okay, let's put these in our Miss Smith's pie crust. You want this kind of even with the with the top of the pie crust because remember it has to sit in that gel. So let's turn as many of these over as we can. Make it look pretty. Since we got plenty of strawberries, we'll do this. You know, we have a a strawberry farm here. Well, really, they do all kind of vegetables and fruits. It's called a Callahan's. And that's where I got these strawberries this morning. So they were picked fresh today. So you know that's going to be good. When you get to this part, be sure that you pour very slowly because what you want it to do is to seep all down in between those strawberries. And so I'm gonna go very slow. <coughs> all right, I'm gonna give that a minute to settle. Okay, we'll pour a little bit more. Okay, we're still pouring here. So we're gonna let this settle down through there. If you pour it too fast, it's gonna run over the side of the pie crust and it'll make a mess. So let's just be sure we get, all right, let's see if we can get a little bit more here across this. So you may not use all of your liquid. So when you're doing this, don't just turn your pot over and just pour the whole thing in there. You've got to pour it slow so that it settles. And see, that's that's pretty much that's pretty much full. So if we did any more, it probably would run over the side of the pie crust. So this is going in the refrigerator now. It has to stay at least three hours before you can cut it. So if you're making this to have um, for a meal or for a party or get together or whatever, be sure to make it far enough ahead so that it chills completely because um, all of this has to congeal and get very cool before you can start slicing it. So I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and we will be back when it's cool. Okay, our pie has chilled. <laughs> Y'all, while it was chilling, we went to a t-ball ball game. Now you talk about some fun. You got like three to six year olds out there playing. <laughs> it's just hilarious. It's very entertaining. <laughs> if you have one in your town, you even if you don't have a child, you go watch it because it'll entertain you. But anyway, here's our pie. And it looks beautiful. And every time I think about strawberry pie, it reminds me, you know, we lived in a little town before we moved to, to Anderson. And it was North South Carolina. Now that's a conversation within itself. But anyway, we lived there. So there was nothing in the town. I mean, hardly nothing. We had one little place that cooked hamburgers and you were lucky if you got there while they were cooking them. But anyway, so we had some neighbors that we had lots of fun with. We just were back and forth in each other's houses and they had children, we had children. And so we were always looking for fun things to do. And it was nothing unusual for about seven o'clock at night and everybody say, 
Let's run to Columbia and get us some strawberry pie at Shoney's. It was either that or a hot fudge sundae. <clears throat> Everybody would load up in the car and to Columbia we would go. Y'all, it was 23 miles. So you could tell. We needed entertainment. But anyway, it sure did taste good. I'll tell you that much. Okay, so get busy now and make your strawberry pie. They're so easy. You saw how easy it was to make. And your family will love you. And so I hope you have a good rest of the week this week. All oh, this time of year is so beautiful. Flowers are blooming. Everything's green. And it just um, lets us know that spring is here and that new life is here. That's the way we kind of feel in springtime. So everybody have a good rest of the week. Love your family. And everybody, shine for Jesus.